guys, Joseph Rackets here from josephrackets.com and today here I am with my good mate Joe Pitt all the way from Brisbane. Um, we're both here in Vegas for the Mr. Olympia. So today we thought we we're going to chest walk out in. 100%. So what I'm going to do today, um, we're going to go back and forward and choose an exercise. So I'll pick an exercise, explain why I like it, and Joe will pick an exercise and explain why he likes it. And all just roll like that, eh? Super good. Alright, let's go. Alright, so first exercise. Um, we're going to do a chest press and the reason I like this exercise is because it's a great exercise to really pump the muscle full of blood to get the blood in the muscle before we go um, heavy with dumbbells or with barbell or anything like that also this machine here you push it forward and it comes together so you get a good squeeze of pictorial muscles So they come together. So it just allows for a lot better squeeze in the pectoral muscles. A bit of squeeze in the muscles, better activation. Control, good compression. Yeah. So I'm up. I'm going to choose this uh, machine chest press. The reason I choose this machine chest press is because I've been to the gym before and I know this machine is good. <laughs> and, uh, but basically, uh, it's got a nice steady wide grip. It really isolates the target your upper chest. Okay? So that's what we're trying to do here. You know, it's really strong through the, th through the negative movement to re-engage it and really you know, emphasize what we're doing before the other machine. Keep that pump going. <laughs> Upper chest guys is always the hardest um, area of the chest to pull. So it's always good to do direct upper chest pull. So we're going to do this uh, machine here, I brought him into the secret room, uh, all this hoist equipment. So this hoist equipment here is we're going to do a uh, peg flight, okay, but with this one here, the seat adjusts, it gives you some really strong contraction through your chest. So through this, it really locks you in, stops the instability and really focuses. This one's actually going to hit us on the upper chest. So you'll see, you'll see actually from Joe and I's techniques, it's a little bit different as well. Joe's really strong with his contraction at the top, but he, and I usually have a longer, um, yeah, longer stretch and eccentric movement. So, but different styles, you gotta just find what works, right? Exactly. <laughs>
Alright guys, so we're now onto incline dumbbell press. We're doing a bit of a partial press. So the reason I do a partial press is so I can keep the tension and the stress on the pecs the whole entire time. So you'll notice when I do this, I don't go right the way down, I go right the way up. Because when I go right the way up, I basically just lock out and just take the stress off my chest. So I go right the way down, get a good stretch, and I only come up to about there. So this is using that partial range of motion to keep the stress on the upper pecs. Now, the incline that I like to use is obviously an incline to work in the upper chest, but I like to keep it somewhat low. I think if it's too high, my front delts take over it too much. Anyway, my set. Exercise, we're doing cable flies. So we've got the cables on the highest setting up there, and what we're going to do, we're going to lean into it and bring the handles down just in line with our belly button. So we're really going to work on that pick sweep. I like to bring it back, get a good stretch, and then a good squeeze. First exercise that we're doing for triceps is rope pull down. Uh, it's usually one of the first exercises that I do because I can just get a really good squeeze. Uh, I can get the blood into the muscle. And it's just always good to pump, pump the muscle full of blood before you go heavy with any other exercise. It's a really good feel good exercise, this one as well. You can just pull it down and squeeze with the back of your arm on every single rep. tricep now but a really different bar like it's nice and close so we're going to get here usually people would do it with probably a rope um, we're going to use this bar because it's a bit more static and you can really keep it close and get a good stretch and pull out of it okay
finishing up, right Joe? Finishing up on this tricep extension. Um, so this machine is basically just to isolate your triceps through this. Push down, we're gonna come from the front. We're gonna get our elbows nice and tight. Stand. Nice and tight. Everybody get your hands up. do some tricep dips which will come to the outside part of this gym. Um, now dips are one of my favorite exercises for the triceps. It's a great way to add mass to the triceps I believe. Um, the key when you're doing your tricep dips is you want to try and keep your elbows tucked into your body as much as you can. As soon as your elbows flare out your shoulders just start taking over and we're not trying to work our shoulders we're trying to work our triceps so keep them narrow. So these bars here they actually flare out so it's designed um, you know for different body structures. The bigger you are the smaller you are. You have no idea how hot these bars are. <laughs> wow. Let's do it again. 